Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to BSG at Home 2020. In just a moment, we're going to get started with The Night of the Rabbit by Rakuz. Before we do, I quickly want to remind everybody we are currently raising money for Mind. All of your donations good, go, uh, do go to this charity, so be sure to get them in as we keep going. They do a ton of fantastic work regarding uh, mental health issues and supporting people dealing with mental health issues or within their families. Uh, they'll talk more about it themselves after this run is over, but I did quickly figure I wanted to plug that before we get started. And with that, I'm going to give it to Rakuz. Good luck. Thank you very much. Welcome, everybody. My microphone is too far away. Um, this is Night of the Rabbit, uh, one of the Daedalic games. Beautiful game. A typical point-and-click adventure, but thank God, after some people maybe f uh, saw the Simon the Sorcerer, which is more a walking simulator, I saw this in the chat, um, this has quick transitions between each location, so we will don't have any problem. And I will hope everyone is ready. I will count down from three to go. Start at go with the timer in three, two, one, go. Yeah, like I said, it's a typical point-and-click adventure with too many cutscenes and dialogues. And at the first, we are this beautiful rabbit in the fog, in the world, which nobody knows what this is. We will see it maybe later and understand it later. But first, we have just to talk with this odd figure any times. But now we will learn more or see um, like the main person in this whole story. This is Jerry Hazelnut. Uh, Jeremiah Hazelnut in this case. It's a full name. And yeah, um, it's for me a kind of premiere because nobody ever ran this game. And it's a bit sad for me to be honest because uh, I can understand it as everyone says, okay, you should um, play this um, game more casually. Yeah. I can understand that because it's a great story, but to be honest, this game was a real pain. <laughs> it was a real pain because of the riddles. Uh, I had to understand too much of this magical logic, I think. And yeah, so um, to explain it a bit more, um, Jerry is um, has a big hobby. Which is, yeah, <laughs> which is the magic. He is uh, he wants to be a wizard or a sorcerer or something, but only with the help of some of a strange person and a strange world he can be a wizard. And we got a letter um, from an unknown person which has a recipe for a carrot cake which is strange for everyone. What is a carrot cake? Mm, can we eat it? Nope, it's not the typical carrot cake which you can eat. It's more some hocus pocus, I would say. <laughs> and it's important to create this with some bark, with some carrot and the acorns and some chalk and from this uh, black powder. And with this, we are creating this one, this miracle circle and we have to use our match to find this yeah this case with a uh, with the magic wand and a top hat and now we meet the rabbit again we, his name is i think it was Maki. i have a bad memory a uh, name memory in this case and he will teach us everything we need in the whole story and the first thing we got is one spell which is not really necessary because it's just hey i have a question what i have to do now it's just kind of hint system with which was uh, to be honest it was terrible this uh, the hint system doesn't help me in any time <laughs> but it is necessary at one point later and we are now in a magical world where animals can speak the squirrels, mouses, and uh, mice, not mouses, mice, and many, many more. And with many dialogue skips, you can skip many animations like the walking animation, which I uh, was a bit too slow, but this is okay. And I forgot to split, but it's it's fine. And we have to wait for Marquis de Hoodoo. 
now I know his name again. And we got our first um, job to uh, which helps us to become uh, a wizard later. Yeah. <laughs> Um, we have to invite the whole city. Uh, oh no, I forget something. Go back, please. Um, yeah, we have to invite the whole city to a kind of festival. Um, but we need, yeah, yeah, we need later some more stuff. And yeah, she gave us um, um, a kind of muffin and a lollipop. Just after a little talk. Because someone is missing and yeah, nobody knows, but after a little chat, she said everything we need. And this hedgehogs have to build a leaf boat for the old mouse, which we met uh, earlier at the wall. And yeah, they have the problem, the tools are gone. Th someone has stolen, oops, uh, someone has stolen the, um, yeah, this tools. And it's just kobolds, or I think it's kobold. Um, the typical Irish guys, <laughs> the lucky guys. And yeah, we have to catch him, but he's pretty fast. That's the problem. Now we have just to loop around. Just, yeah. Until can I he's... Uh, button here real quick? Yes, you can. We just got <laughs> a 60 euro and 70 cent donation from Tiny Tim saying, Hey all, had to donate for the amazing Rakus. I first saw his <laughs> recent runs at ESA and they were absolutely amazing. Point and clicks are one of my favorite genres and they are very underrepresented in speedrunning. So thank you very much Rakus for giving them, much, uh, giving them the much needed spotlight. Cheers. And with that, we are uh, we have made it to 400 euro to euros total, and that means we're only 20 away from the 420. So uh, let's see if we can hit that by the end of this run. Uh, Tiny Tim, you're <laughs> you're crazy and great at the same time. Love you. Um, yeah. Okay, we uh, we catch the cobalt guy, and now we have finished the boat, but we have another problems. We need some tools. And we are now in this uh, deeper in the forest, but we have a problem. Ursula, yeah, her name is Ursula, a very old name. And she has a big problem now because of the crow. But no problem, with the muffin everything is fine. And now we can use our sharp grappling hook. I hope it works this time in the first try. Nope. Um, I better be careful with this thing. Oh, come on. Okay, now it's fine. It's gone. Crow is uh, gone, and now we have the worst thing, or worst person in this <laughs> case, in our inventory. Because Ursula is switching the places of the inventory of each item at... I don't know how much time or how often you have to um, open the inventory, but it's annoying. <laughs> it's just annoying, but it's, it's, a chill, it's a child, so it's fine. We love her. We still love her. So, um... We have the next problem. Okay, um, cause the frog um, has a frozen bike. Why ever? Oh no, I, I just missed again something. Um, and we have to help the frog because he has some packages and letters uh, for some uh, residents of the whole town. And we have to bring them this uh, the, the letters and the package. And this, uh, the squirrel just um, got uh, some shoes or something else, I don't know anymore. And we got a coin which was necessary for this tasty stuff, which makes people very sleepy. <laughs> and yeah, we need it. Okay, great, this was fast. Yeah, we, we are just now some postman mm, but this is not the problem okay. so we have done this now we are going back to the old mouse i already forgot the name just i said i have a very bad name spitzweg <laughs> yeah the names are pretty german uh, but i think maybe the people can understand it the, he gets the the spoon for like a paddle i think and the hook for for anchor and we need the valerian drops for the large catfish so we can use this great um, submarine it's I think it's great and I the good thing is I gave uh, the lady mouse I uh, from the coffee 
um, this leaf, which was a kind of advertising for some um, violin lesson. Uh, without it, I have the most time of soft luck in this game, which is pretty dangerous at this time. So, okay. <laughs> I see I ran this game too often. I didn't know anymore there will be the Wilhelm screen. <laughs> oh boy, I hate it. Okay, and now we have to do some more, uh, okay, nearly some more jobs. Um, this is Steinberg. Or s yeah, it's, Stein it's Steinberg. And he is a dwarf who's making this blueberry juice. And yeah, we need him. But he's sick. He needs help. Definitely good help. Um, mouse lock, thank you. And only one can help us. It's Tanya. Tanya was her name. Yes, I can remember names. <laughs> uh, in the coffee, she has um, a recipe for this, but we have room to wait. <laughs> Please, come on. That's... Uh, Maybe I could say it's a bitch RNG when she comes out, but yeah, come on. <laughs> oh, she's slow today. Okay, Anya, not Tanya. Ah, nearly. Okay, one of the dwarves is sick. Now she's checking him and he, she says, okay, it's this and this and this. And we have to use the bell again. But in, at this point, oh no. Yeah, now he is saying... Everything is messed up. Hey, and follow the eyes. <laughs> okay, Anya, please help me. I have everything already. Thank you. See you later. And we have to walk uh, back to the dwarf to help him. I think it's a kind of cold, a blue blueberry cold with a blue face, everything. Maybe he drank too much. I, I don't even know. And yeah, hope Ursula wasn't waste more on my inventory looks like. Where's the... Did I miss the barrel? Ouch. Wait. I have an issue here. A big issue. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, I, I just missed it. I just forgot to take the blue juice keg. Whoops. <laughs> it's warm. It's just so hot today, so maybe my bra brain doesn't work that good. Okay. And I... Think now I have everything because we need the barrel with the blueberry juice. Oh, oh no, first in the cup, then the medicine and the cup, then we have this tasty um, medicine juice. And nobody likes to drink it from the cup, so only a spoon helps. Like some. He is a child. <laughs> a very old child in this case. But okay. And. We get some shortcut, a very, very great shortcut, which is necessary. And Jerry wasn't that happy about it, because um, we need now the hot coffee to melt down the ice on the bicycle, which is frozen. And um, wait, come on, did I miss? <laughs> What is my problem today, guys? Please. Okay. Um, I think I um, hit the wrong thing. I think I hit some. Yeah, the sink. Definitely the sink. Okay, this is the problem. Um, yeah, we need this, and we have. We need the help of the frog, and later we will have a kind of um, fast traveling system between the locations because of the. Um, Frog thingy, which we get later. And first thing is, we have to put the letter in the envelope, which we have borrowed from the mole. And the snail is the best clue. With this, we can do everything. And we don't need the snail anymore. And now put the post stamp, a postage stamp on it. And now we have one invitation. Okay, not really. We have now. A lot of invitations. Magic is a beautiful thing. Frog, please help us. Now we are doing one important thing. We're going back to the town center. And the first thing we are doing in the town hall is bringing back Ursula. So she doesn't do anything anymore in my inventory. And the next thing is we have to speak with Marquette Horo. 
and he will bring us to another magical place. And something happens here. Nobody knows what happened with the machines. And we just have to repair it. It's not a problem. We are just an engineer or a magician. Sometimes it's the same. This <laughs> so no problem. Okay, we got everything. And we get we got a key, which is important for the next character in the whole game. Which is a real wizard. A very old wizard at the same time. Just give me the ghostly key for the ghost strange door and go inside. And yeah, this was a kind of train station. But the first thing is we need some... Yeah, we, we, we just borrow some milk and the napkin and the chocolate. And then we have to wake up the wizard. And there's only one way to wake him up. Just throw this clock on his head. With any help. So just give me the napkin with oil and... Oh, come on. Use the metal arm, put it on it, and he's awake. Okay, the animation is still working. And yeah, he, the, the wizard is still a human and really a giant, but he can use a spell to get on the same size. And... This is one thing in the game which I we can ignore. It's more for the achievement hunter. Maybe it would be possible to uh, for a 100% run to get all the 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 cards, I guess. And there are some other things like the drops, <coughs> or yeah, something like that. And yeah, but I never talked about it. Maybe <laughs> later in the future. And this creatures in the corner, you should remember for the future. But now, we are back at home, and we have to do some stuff, because this toad helps us um, to learn the first spell. A very important spell. Oh yeah, I, sh I should maybe split it, or maybe not. <laughs> Whoops. Um, but the problem is, uh, the toad is still sleeping and enjoying the sounds of the forest, of the animals everywhere. <coughs> So the woodpecker is gone now and the sparks there and everyone, but now he's still sleeping and only the clicker frog can help us. And he is teaching us the, yeah, the, the, the rock whisper. So we can, we can listen to odd crystal statues or other statues or many, many other things. And it's not over yet we have to do more stuff. The second spell is from our green friend. But first we using this kind of... It's not really a key. It's a, it's a part of the clock, which is necessary. And the problem is the mouse always comes in and uh, lock the door and after that it's going out, etc, etc. Please wait. And with this part, of the clock. Oh, come on. Waiting time. Okay. And he doesn't uh, get it that he uh, doesn't lock the door anymore. And that's important for later. So, we have two ingredients for some other thing. Because we need um, a cake. A great cake for the rabbit party every night. I don't know how they can make party every night. But okay. It's still rabbits. <laughs> and there's something to say of, um, for one specific rabbit. It's it's more important for, uh, I think, for the, um, maybe for the German viewers. Um, but it's a funny thing for everyone else, I guess. Because um, there is a kind of specific uh, relationship between one big German YouTuber and yeah and uh, Daedalic Entertainment um, cause here's the reason why uh, is a part of the reason why the uh, this company get, uh, got so big and he got a voice acting um <coughs> Yeah, voice acting job uh, at this game as a kind of crumbling um, rabbit. Just a bit. Yeah. yeah. 
it's 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 just a bit uh, hard to explain it for me. Um, I think if you, if you saw the rabbit movie, okay. We have all the ingredients. Um, we are nearly to at the point where we can get the cake. Um, and now we need this water nut, but we have to do a good job for that. So we have to tell jokes, but we are not funny. So that's the reason why we got some pen and paper, which will help us. And this is the rabbit, um, Crumpy God now, no? <coughs> which is uh, spoken in the original German version. Uh, okay, that's what that was stupid. Um, by uh, Kronk. For maybe some people who knows them. I mean, there are. Mm, many many um, great voice actors in the English versions and the, the voices are great but <laughs> it's it's funny to listen to them and then okay never never checked it and now you remember okay it's th this person <coughs> it's it was, for the first time as I played it casually it was funny for me and so we have got the cup of coffee again because we need a bit help a bit help of this Interrupts again. Valerian drops, please. I don't think it would work pretty good with coffee, but okay. Maybe it helps that this mouse just will sleep a bit better. Because we need his cannon to shoot at the um, I don't know, part of the tree. With this lighty, <coughs> pardon me, uh, lighty acorn. Um, cause we wouldn't see anything ich ups, yeah, up, up this, at this point. It would be too dark and we wouldn't uh, get the Grim Man in green. And yeah, just to take the three wishes, cause he's just a kobold. Okay, why not? And he has a big problem. He loves to steal. He loves to steal s shiny stuff. And God thanks, we have a trophy, but it's not that shiny. So, just use the old flag and it's shiny enough and he steers it and is happy. And that's how rainbows <laughs> are, <laughs> why they're still there. S some cobalt, <laughs> some green man stole some shiny thing and everywhere rainbows. Uh, no, just no. Okay, um, we've got the second spell. And now we're going back. I just have to think. Um, yes, I know where we are going now. But first, put it to the day, because sometimes there's a little bug. Um, we're going to the, uh, to the radio station, and with the help of the mole, we can just finish the jokes. And we can go back to the town center. Because <coughs> with the help of the jokes, we can... Yeah. Um, can finish this kind of show with... Yeah. And we can get the water nut, which is... Very important. Uh, okay, I collected good jokes. Break a leg. See you later, alligator. Was nice to see you. And back to the radio station. Sometimes it's just a switch in between two locations. God thanks uh, that we have this kind of... Um, first I do some other stuff. Um, yeah, this fast traveling system. Okay, we've got this. Whoops. Ah, come on. It's a typical data <laughs> problem with the escape button. Next thing is... we uh, First we grow up with the second spell. It's a uh, green grow. We grow up the mushrooms, and then the second thing is, um, yeah, the water nut, and that's the reason why this flooden way is not anymore flooden. Just dry, and it's pretty important for us, cause with the green crow we can reach this green spirit, which is still a fox. I think it's some kind of uh, Japanese mythology. Pretty Japanese mythology in this case. Or religions, all religions, and yeah, we are now in some kind of Japanese world where we meet a pretty girl. 
But she will not help I'd us. I better take good care of it. Ah, come on. Ah, okay. R wrong, wrong, wrong. I need a rock whisper because he is some spirit uh, who will not open up the door. But with the help of this little bell, he opens because he thinks we are this woman. Which we are not. And the woman is still the fox. And this is, yeah, the real um, person behind this spirit. Now, she gave us a job. He has to be... Yeah, he needs some help with this kind of art. I don't know any more. I think poetry or something else. Yeah, poet. It's a poet. Poetry. Yes, of course. <laughs> Sometimes I'm a bit stupid. And we've got the third spell. And this was too fast again. Thank you. And with the third spell, we can... Uh, I, how can I explain it? It's... If we're using this spell on someone, like this 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 moth, with this spell, the moth think we are a moth, but we are not. But it's a good spell, so it's it's a kind of illusion spell, I guess. So um, we have some flex, and we need more stuff, and we have to go to the path three forest. Because while it's night at the spider web here, there's a spider which can attack us. And just switching to day, because we need the daytime at the next point. And going straight to the next um, fast traveling spot, because to walk behind the, um, the dwarf's house is it's a bit too long. And the uh, next thing is we are making a brush with the flex and the stick. Fit. So we can use this tasty juice from this huge bead as kind of clue. And with the hook, we are trying to... Yeah, okay, we are trying to... <laughs> I have a fly here. Go away. Oh. Um, we are trying to reach the uh, this part of the branch. But we need a bit help, so switch off, and we've got everything we need. Beautiful. So please use the syrup as a clue. Beautiful and a spider web, so we can catch the thingies, the seamens, or one of the seamen. And yeah, the rope is broken now, but who cares? And using this, and we have everything we need to impress the moth because they are trying to um, yeah they, they want <coughs> um, a kind of plant at this point but the last plant died maybe because it's it was too cold or something else and m maybe the human it's a human's fault but okay we have everything we need and we are going to the last portal to our last spell which is a bit cold and only... Okay, we just learn about the last uh, spell which is necessary for this because she is trying to... Yeah, she's a scientist and trying to reach some, uh, yeah, some other people. But the problem is she gets no signal, etc, etc. But we are now here and we're trying to help. But we have no electricity, so... Just speaking with the statue, cause the statue makes a kind of thunder. And with this, we get our last spell. It's hope. Yep, it's just hope. Yep, hope. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I I like J Jerry's voice acting in the English pretty much more than in the German one. In the German one, it sounds like a... Uh, 16 years old guy and here more like a 30 years old and in, he looks like more at this age don't know why but okay now we are back and maybe you see something happened a bit of time changed so why we are were away for a uh, maybe uh, an hour and in this world uh maybe a few years <laughs> So we have a good problem, and with the help of the Rock Whisper, we um, got every information um, what happened there. 
I was gone or Jerry was gone, the family moved because nobody knew where he was gone, etc. <coughs> and yeah, that's it. And now, with the help of the hope uh, spell, he got hope to bring his family back, or better to say, his mother back. And yeah, and now we have to help the people here, because this lizard thingies, this creepy guys, are trying to take over the whole city. And that's a big problem. Um, but... They are not the only one, there is some other person behind this whole story. It's... I think it's what it was Sakharov. And he's a... Um, kind... yeah, he is a wizard too. The problem is he's... Um, a bad wizard. Come on, please give me the golden horn, thank you. I just wanna go to the first um, thingy, it was... yeah. Yeah, he's a bad guy and we have to stop him and the lizards and yeah, we have three classes <coughs> which will be, um, I will, okay, please help this. Yeah, we, we have the classes cause, um, with these classes every lizard will be uh, gone s a, a bit smaller and yeah. But everyone has his own technique to take over about the persons. Everyone is sleeping after they get or bought a ticket for Sarov. Not Sakharov, Sarov. Um, for the show. Because he is doing a magical show, but it's not that good. It's kind of, he's trying to get souls or something like that. I don't remember everything anymore. And, okay, I get everything. Please use the pretty flower for the fly, which is irritating him. Just a bit stupid, this guy is. These guys. And yeah. We just have to wait again. Just wiggling around. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it wasn't to be. Come on. Throw it away, please. And with this white ball, with this uh, drink some blueberry juice, we just giving uh, gave him um, the glass. And with this, he's back. He's gone. We don't need it anymore. Here it is. Okay, back to the town center right now. And this is easier than everyone would think about it. Because this guy is stupid as the other one. Just put a glass bottle in there and he used it wrong and then it ends like this. And here we need the fox cunning. So he thinks we are poor. But with the fox cunning we are doing like, hey, we are rich. And now he's drunken and now we're telling him, hey, the acorns are not... Mm, yeah. It's like some other currency is there. It's not worth anymore. Uh, so he has some kind of <laughs> burnout, I don't know, and just gave him the bottle to say, hey, just the last drink for you, and he failed. We have everyone, and just bring him back to the old magician, and he sent us back at home where everything is fine again. That's what we think, cause... Just wait, just open the room door. Waiting again. And this is our room, which we see for about 15 seconds. And he found a card box which shows him the, uh, the whole uh, truth. The problem is, something changed in the magical world and this situation has kind of stolen his father, a father with with a dog, well with a dog, <laughs> and nobody remembered what happened. Why he ha he never asked why he has no father anymore, etc., etc., etc. Oh come on, please, by the whole. So we are now at the position we have to try everything to change everything back, so that everything is fine again. And with this uncanny sound carrier, we're just going to each odd crystal statue um, to get the embers um, to go to a world um, 
which is kind of, um, I would say it's a bit of time and space, or space and time, you can turn it around like you want. And maybe you remember the part at the beginning, this is the world between the space and time. <coughs> yeah. Right. Okay. <laughs> now we have, we have two or four. Maybe is, is there some donation or is uh, yeah some information? Well, no. But I do have uh, some other stuff I can talk about for a little while. You guys are currently watching the Benelux Speedrunner Gathering. We organize bi-monthly gatherings in the Benelux for speedrunners. Due to the situation surrounding COVID-19, we're currently doing our extended DSG online event instead of our week-long annual with streamers from both the Benelux and the rest of the world bringing you entertainment during the lockdown. We're raising money for Mind, which is a nationwide organization committed to prevent mental health issues and to support everyone who has dealt with mental health issues themselves or within their family. Uh, more about Mind pretty much after this run, so if you stick around for a few more minutes, they'll, uh, they'll tell you much more about the charity themselves. So I do encourage everyone to uh, keep an eye out for that. All of your donations will go to mind, so be sure to get them in. Okay, Do I thank have you. More time? <laughs> okay, um, we are ne near the next section. Um, yeah, we, I've got every ember and the riddle about this. I'm, I mean, everyone knows this kind of uh, moving puzzle games. Whoops, wrong button. And this one was so such impossible only with the hope. Um, spell it worked pretty well and now we are in this world again like in the beginning and only with the advice spell we can get all information and changing this world like we want because here is more happening than you ever think because every position is kind of beginning of a specific story like the odd figure at the beginning said <laughs> it's very important uh, for maybe some strange figures Okay, and this is kind of repeatedly doing some stuff because we are just doing, um, yeah, creating the carrot cake again, just with the uh, with this uh, black powder and in this case the okay. white pepper, and just putting it together again. But we have no matches. But it's not not the problem. I mean. It, there's a big reason why I've already changed it uh, to this um, kind of location. Because <laughs> we have the campfire there. And we can do in everything uh, right now here. Just put it on the crossroad again. <coughs> but we will meet some strange guy. And I could and I will. For everyone, maybe who knows it, maybe not, spoiler alert, this was the real Marquet de Hodo. The problem is, um, the Marquet de Hodo we already met was the past one. It wasn't uh, the, yeah, <laughs> something happened and in the future, the Marquet de Hodo was more a bad guy. And that's the problem. And we met now Sarov and the first problem is he used a strange spell on nearly everyone and everyone doesn't want to work with us anymore and is, has a kind of strange relationship to us they don't like us anymore etc uh, but we have so much things so that, that their mind came back and they're just saying hey you're the real Jerry. Thank you for helping me here. You've got the nail. The problem is these na these kind of nails are the power of this uh, the, this this strange wizard of Saraf, and we are trying to get each nail back. And yeah, and each important um, spell teller, I could say. I mean, we are already helping everyone who told us every spell which is kind of against us now because of these these strange thingies these papers but it's not the problem because we have always a way to um, help them out and again please uh, thank you and it's the machine and it blows away this paper from the whale and it everyone is fine now again 
and the show is off right now, but it's not over with the game. <laughs> Because here it's the point which we can skip. Thank you to the any percent in this case. Please wait. Okay, this was too early. Um, this is the last fight against Saroff, but we can skip it. We don't need it. But it's not over yet. Because we have some strange thing in this game. Why I said make, uh, do it re uh, make you ready for the time. Because we have two dialogues. Here are the credits. The first dialogue is the old magician. Which tells to the art figure, come here, and the alt figure, and yes, I'm ready, and this is time. Oof, a bad time, I see. <laughs> Was pretty slow this time, ah. But that's the problem if it's hot, if it's a marathon, and pretty much to talk, to be honest. <laughs> but that's it, that is Night of the Rabbit. And I would say everyone should uh, play the game definitely in casual way. And for everyone who's, who wants to, to run this game, um, we have a Daedalic Discord. I'm active there if someone has a question. I mean, I'm the one who uh, submitted the game on speedrun.com. So if there's any question, you can ask me anytime. If you want to run this game, um, you will find a kind of guide there where some points explained a bit better, where some glitches, it's okay, maybe one glitch, etc. But. I would take the time for it if there is some question and at this point I would say thank you for having me here for today <laughs> and that's not that's not my yeah, I would say uh, I would say we will see us tomorrow again <laughs> I will give the word to crew Thank you very much and with that we are uh, going but to actually go into a quick stars. interview. Uh, we've got somebody from Mind with us who's going to be telling you guys a little bit more about what they do, how they do it, you know, all of the behind the scenes and that sort of stuff. So more about that in just a moment. Um, after that we are going to be moving on to Zoneris with Batman Arkham City uh, at which point Tiny Tim will be taking over for uh, for the hosting here. So uh, thank you very much for joining us here at BSG at Home 2020. Um, I mean, I'll be right back with you guys with the interview. And uh, thank you very much for joining us today. And uh, have fun with the rest of the event. Oh, and in between, there will be some quick ads as well. So that's a thing. So yeah, have a good one, everybody. <laughs>